Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see onboarding Azure Sentinel. Uh, it's actually Azure Sentinel setup and configuration. How would you onboard Azure Sentinel? So in this video we'll learn how to onboard Azure Sentinel. To onboard Azure Sentinel we first need to enable Azure Sentinel and then connect our data sources. Because Azure Sentinel comes with a number of connectors for Microsoft solutions available out of the box and providing real-time integration including Microsoft 365 Defender. It's also compatible with Microsoft 365 sources including Office 365, Azure AD, Microsoft Defender for Identity which was uh, formerly known as Azure ADP, Microsoft Cloud App Security, Azure Defender and more. In addition, there are built-in connectors to the broader security ecosystem for non-Microsoft solutions. And after we connect data sources, we choose from a gallery of expertly created workbooks that surface insights based on the data. These workbooks can be easily customized as per our needs. So the prerequisite would be, first and foremost, you would have to have your subscription, active subscription. You will need the log analytics workspace. We need the contributor permissions on the subscription to enable Azure Sentinel. To use Azure Sentinel, we need either contributor or reader permissions. And uh, Azure Sentinel, uh, mind you, is a paid service. You need to check pricing for Azure Sentinel as well. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. I'm going to switch to my directory. Here it is. On the top search bar of the Azure portal, I type in Azure Sentinel. It says Azure Sentinel workspaces. I do not currently have any workspace. So I'm going to click on add. No workspace is found. If you have an existing workspace, you can select the workspace you want to use or you can create a new one. And you can run Azure Sentinel on more than one workspace, but the data is isolated to a single workspace. So if you click on create a new workspace, create a resource group, RSG. Uh, instant email test space. Okay. Let it search for it. Does not usually take this much of time. Okay, it is done. I'm gonna go with West US. Okay, and just uh, once deployed on a workspace, Azure Sentinel will not currently support the moving of that workspace to any other resource group or subscriptions. If you have already moved the workspace, disable all active rules under analytics and re enable them after five minutes. So let me select the pricing tier. Tags, create, and it will create a workspace. So first of all, it will create a workspace. Then I will add the uh, Azure Sentinel to that workspace that I am creating. Right. So this is the uh, workspace that has been configured. It's West Central US. So now, if you will add, now it says adding Azure Sentinel. So, this is adding Azure Sentinel to this workspace. Let me pause and come back. Azure Sentinel has been configured, and you see that the selected workspace is this. Right now, you can do you can collect the data, you can create security alerts, you can automate and uh, orchestrate and whatnot. Now, if you want to connect the data sources, Azure Sentinel ingest data from services and apps by connecting to the service and forwarding the events and logs 
to Azure Sentinel. For uh, physical and virtual machines, you can install the log analytics agent that collects the log and forward them to Azure Sentinel. For firewalls and proxies, Azure Sentinel installs the log analytics agent on a Linux syslog server from which the agent collects the log files and forward them to Azure Sentinel. Right. So now if you would see this configuration and you click on data connectors. Right. So now it has 74 pre-installed uh, connectors. So this is the connectors gallery from where you see and connected are zero. And if you would uh, click on this Amazon Web Services, right, you would see Azure Active Directory. You have uh, Azure Activity. So these are all different connectors that you can uh, open up in you. So let's say I'm going to go for Azure SQL Database. And if I go on open there, open connector page. Right. So it says that there are some prereqs that you have to meet, which is uh, you need the read and write permissions are required on the workspace, read and write permissions to Azure SQL Server setting. Right. It says the configuration would be the Azure SQL database connector sends two types of logs to Azure Sentinel diagnostic logs and auditing logs to enable the diagnostic logs on each Azure C database manually I have to follow this and you can I can also enable it by PowerShell I can also enable auditing logs so we will do it in the coming videos I'll do it for uh, different sources and I'll structure the video lesson in such a way that you know how I am uh, going to connect so we'll we'll enable it we'll get the visit we'll make videos on uh, visibility of the data and potential threats detecting threats common even format and uh, appliances right so in the next video we'll uh, get started with the uh, azure sentinel more and we'll get uh, use the visualization built-in workbooks we'll we'll create new workbooks and uh, view and monitor what's happening across the environment using Azure Sentinel. So stay tuned. I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.